What's up, all? I'm gonna do a little painting. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, <clears throat> do about an hour. It's been a while since I've painted. I haven't been able to keep my 20 minutes. It's been a weird time. So let's get going here. And I'm trying to new stand here, so it might all just collapse on me here while I'm going, but we'll see. And I'm on my phone, so it's a little uh, little funky monkey here. Um, and I've invited some people on. I don't know if they're able to come on or not. It's kind of weird. It's Monday, kind of the middle of the day. Um, but I took a mental day off to chill out a little bit. So no one's watching, so I can't ask if you can hear me. So there's my little wet palette that you've all said I should use, and it's been good. But the funny thing is I started it, you know, um, started it, and then I took a little bit of time off. I'm going to have to, oh, shoot. <laughs> This will be the last day I can use it. I'm going to remake it. Another problem is I forget what colors are, which, which colors I put in here, you know. Like this one's flesh. I don't need flesh anymore. I'm done with that one. Which one's middle stone, though? You know, that yellow I need for my... I need to dry brush, so I don't think I'm going to use the wet palette for that. But, so where is my... It's fun watching Kev and Tony. It's kind of fun having the day off when Kev and Tony got on and uh, played some DAC, OCS DAC board game. It was fun to watch them do that. Uh, green ochre is not the cover I'm looking for. Panther yellow is probably there. Let's see here. It's a lovely uh, Friday afternoon here in the mid middle of the U.S. Nice and cold, about 10 degrees out. Still snow on the ground. Oh, I got a foreground building I, I could uh, build. I should probably do that. That's another thing I can spend my time doing. Hey, who's on with us? Gun Barrel. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, you're on Alan's live stream. Oh, you're on Alan's love stream? Is he going live streaming right now? Um. All right. So this one, I hope, is the color I need to paint. So I'm going to paint the Panzerfausts. Boosts, the, um, the, the gas can, the Panzerfaust. Um, do I need anything else? Need this color? I do need to do the tracks, I suppose. It's good to have you on your gun barrel. That's what. What's up? Yeah. Cheers. What's up, man? Thanks for coming on, everybody. Appreciate it. Per appreciate it. I barely need any of this. Oh, I need to paint some bullets too. I don't need very much of this at all. Of course, again, like as I said, this is on my phone. It's a little hard to follow the comments. If they start going crazy mazy. So, all right, let's go with uh, not the insane. I don't need insane detail. I just need detail. I, I think I really like these army painter brushes. I think, I think I do. I think I love you. I think I love you, little brushes. All right, so. I just watched the movie um, Jojo Rabbit last weekend with the family. We do a, we've started a new uh, tradition of family movie night. And uh, that was a good one. So if you haven't seen Jojo Rabbit, you like World War II history and a fun movie. A fun movie about a kid who dreams that Hitler is his his invisible friend it's very well done and the history is you know it's close i mean the stuff that's happening it was interesting to talk to the family like yep they really train kids like that and yep when it got down to the end they were they were um giving fausts to everybody <laughs> kids desperate fight for their What was going on there? Do appreciate y'all coming on, saying hi. Is Alan still live streaming? I haven't seen Alan in a while. I think he changed channels or something, didn't he? Some of the stuff went on or something. But um, we'll get, let's not get into that here. Ooh, I do not like the way this is coming on. This is thinned out too a little bit. I wonder if I didn't shake it enough. It's very possible. I just saw um, Luke Apps talking about um, a shaker, and I've been wanting to get a shaker 
think it'd be a nice thing to have so she because i don't paint enough so my paints don't stay real mixed up well and you can see them if i turn my camera around they're settled i might leave this kind of kind of splotchy like this actually i kind of like it i need to lower my seat because i'm slouching down and i need to raise this table up actually a little bit put some blocks underneath it maybe i should do that da -da -da. What's up, Mad Dog? I was just thinking about you. What's thinking about Mad Dog? So we're reading some ATS rules. So let's see. Uh, what you all doing? You guys painting anything or just hanging out? What's going on? Talk, talk to me, people. Chat at me. Still working on some Flames of War stuff there, uh, Gun, GB. Cutting, cutting counters, anybody cutting counters? GB, are you DGing? I'm so excited to have made these little stands of, like, equipment. I have no idea what I would use them for. Objective markers, patrol markers if you're playing chain of command. I don't know. Oh, well, I made these Faust stands because they're usually one use weapons. So you can I got this idea from McMurray. You just make this stand, set it next to the, you know, the squad, and when they fire it, you can get rid of it. So they haul it around with them and then you get rid of it when they fire, which I thought was pretty cool. So and they had extra Faust, so I did it. So I didn't want to put the Faust on their guys because maybe they're not equipped with them in that particular particular battle. Uh, battle. So Jojo Rabbit was good. I'm reading the book uh, to lose a to lose a battle about France, 1940, by Alistair Horn. Very enjoyable read. I think I'm going to paint that this color here. I could use a bigger brush on this one, but that's what I have out, so I'll just stick with it. It's been fun reading uh, kind of about this battle as I'm playing France 40, seeing some of the units, especially Rommel's. It's the one that stands out the most. It's got a special rule. Interesting kind of why the French were not really prepared for the war, really, because they governments were changing all the time and they were really split. It kind of reminded me of some other countries I know, but really split on where they stood on, you know, peace and war and socialism and um, communism, because that was a big, you know, because of Russia happening, it was a big deal. And it was just all kinds of different divisions within the, the people and the government and you know, the Germans are attacking. The Germans had one thing in mind, really. And so they had a one focus and they were training their people and their economy and everything to one focus. And so it kind of explains a lot. You know, of course, kind of ate themselves alive at some point. That uh, focus of hatred. But, you know, hey, worked for them for a couple of years. Um, good luck with that. But it's just been really interesting reading. I, I wasn't real familiar with the French history. I think that's probably, that's definitely a weak spot of mine, the political kind of zeitgeist of the times. And I, I love it. I have these newspapers. I should be checking the comments here. I have these newspapers from some local, like Massachusetts, not local to me, but Massachusetts towns that my wife got me for Christmas one year and birthday. And it's just old newspapers. And so I'm sitting there reading some of the stories in them. <clears throat> You know, and they're dealing with all the same stuff we deal with all the time. Food prices, stock prices, strikes, et cetera, et cetera, you know. I'm going to get a different brush. I don't like this brush for this job. Um, yeah, so they're kind of dealing with the same stuff, you know, because I've just been, you know, I'm so focused on the war. You think, oh, everyone's thinking about it. Well, yeah, they are, but they're also dealing with life. Buying houses, getting mortgages. Um... 
just got done basing a few World War II Frenchies. Oh, hey, Mad Dog, that's what I'm, I, I want to do here. Sometime this year, um, after I get these done, I definitely want to get these done. I get, um, well, let's talk about how this is helping me with my thinking about my 15s. Um, don't want to do early war French so that McMurray and I can sometime play a ch chain of command, a gimblo, gimblo gap scenarios. Even though this is thinned out a little bit, I think I need a little bit more water on it. Don't ever mix with the brush. So they say. Um, anyway, that's uh, what I like to do is get some 15 mil French coming up. So in 15 mil, Peter Pig. Yep, I might do the same. What do you, uh, you have to remind me, what are you basing them for? Singly, doubly, Flames of War, Chain of Command, Bolt Action. What are you, what are you playing? With those Frenchies, do you have uh, scenarios in mind for them? Or? I'll tell you what, I do not like the way I'm doing this painting today. I'm kind of goobing it up here. There we go. My lighting seems off. I like Peter Pig. They're good stuff. And I like it because you can buy them kind of what you need. I was thinking about doing Forged in Battle. I might still do that because you can kind of get a nice basic and then go into Peter Pig to get my specialist stuff, kind of the fillers that they don't have. Um, But this painting, this, um, oh, that's great. Who else do we have on here? So let's see here. Uh, Peter Pig, rendering a new segment for the last hundred yards and touching my two millimeter union. Oh, that's cool, Ethel. Cool. Painting some faces for colored regiments, like two blocks. Yep, yeah, cool. Just a dot really for each face. Yeah, two mil. Are you kidding me? And a small dot to boot. Flames of War style multi. Multi rules. Okay. Four to a base for squad and or platoon, depending. Faces on the Peter Pig figures are a little weird. Other than that, very nice. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to look, pull out my Peter Pigs that I have. Someone else painted them. See what I, if I notice something, maybe it's just the particular castings of the French or something. Um, what's weird about them? Anyway, what's the, so painting this 28s has got me excited to get back into my 15s because I realize it's going to be a lot easier for one. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm liking this goal. Of, I'm really serious. So here's the deal, right? I, I've mentioned this before. Warlord, the uh, North American Warlord contact was super kind. And I asked, I said, I'm doing this series. I'm recommending these two games. I know I've talked about this before, but I just never know who's heard what. Um, I recommend these two games and they sent me the set. So, and I do like to mention that because I just feel like it's good to be open. So they sent me the set. So I really want to get this done and film and, you know, show the progress Again, because I'm kind of a noob at that. It was all about the getting started series. But it's gotten me excited to get back to those 15s and get, get them fixed up. And focusing on one particular project and sticking to it. You know, I, I don't enjoy painting that much. And it's hard for me to do it. So it's I, I like people who paint a lot to have multiple projects going on. Because, you know, you get kind of tired of painting these Germans or something, right? So it's like, I'm going to go paint some science fiction or two mil block army or something like that. Um, or, you know, whatever, but, um, uh, I'll paint that that way too. Oh boy. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, anyway. I, oft, I have many, um, even a lot of my 15s, even some of my 6s are not quite finished. I don't quite, don't quite finish, you know what I mean? And so I'm excited to finish. So, because this I'm really focusing on getting done, and I'm going to get them done because I want it for, for the people who sent them to me. Alan Smith's live stream chatty chatting about 3D printer. I figured I'd troll over here. 
I appreciate your trolling gun, bro. You know that. Narrow and triangular. Okay, I got you. Six people on this. Awesome. Thanks for coming on, everybody. Hope we're getting some work done. Young Burrell, have you played any Flames of War or just keep painting the figs? And I don't mean just as that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Uh, okay, so I want to... Did I paint that tire black? I am sure I did. I should probably paint that, actually. That wheel needs to be... Anybody on here watching Wanda Vision? The uh, I'm not. I mean, normally I'm not a superhero person, but I did enjoy the Avenger stuff, and I watched the new Wanda Vision this morning. No spoilers for anybody who hasn't watched it, but I just really like what they're doing with that show. They're just very creative approach. I guess they are getting the guff from some super fanboys, but I'm like whatever, because they you know they approach it a different way. It's really fun how they've been doing it. So. Anyway, watch what the episode today. Good stuff. Cliffhanger. Anywho, so I'm excited to get to back to the 15s. I want to finish up the uh, my African American troops that I'm painting for um, American World War II. Finish up the bases. Finish up just the details. I kind of I started them and then I based them. Like I got their boots. I did some stuff to base them and then because it motivated me to get them based. And now I need to finish them. Okay. Done, done, done. I should probably paint some of that stuff brown. Do I have a brown on here I can use for that? Sweat Pal has been really good, so those who recommended it are awesome. Not Rocky. Hey, Rocky, what's up, man? Matt's on here from Rocky's War Room. I did want to mention that, so I'm glad you came on, Matt, to remind me. Sold my army, so I got hit the beach. Oh, Gun Barrel, that's funny. So did uh, a mini war mat. I just sent him a copy. Um, you're going to play version 4, version 3, where you're going to play Gun Barrel. I hit, sent my Hit the Beach set to Mini Warmut. It's a great channel. Go check him out. And I don't know when he's going to get to it, but he unboxed it. So I sent him the Hit the Beach set that I found for five bucks at Miniature Market and put in some tokens and some buildings and stuff, which, because I can't believe they didn't include that th flat terrain and tokens. And the flat terrain, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe. The tokens? I'm going to keep talking about it just because I don't know why, because it's dumb. Peter Berg's, nope. Okay, so no one's watching. Okay, that's fine. Um. The Germans have the equipment scattered all over the figs, so harder to batch paint. Yep, yep, yep. Not watching Wanda. So anyway, everybody, go to Rocky's War Room tonight. There's a great set of rules out there called Fistful of Lead, and also Bigger Battles, and Galactic Heroes. Fistful of Lead is a sandbox game. Uh, it's put out by Wiley Games. One of our one of the guys on Rocky's War Room is um, not Jay, Chris, and he um he had been talking about that set of rules for bajillion years, and we're all like, okay, whatever, blah blah. And then we all finally played it and we're like, ah, this is great. This is the best thing ever. And I'm sure I'm not Jay's like, okay, all right, little late bloomers. But anyway, Jay Wiley is going to be on Rocky's War Room tonight. At, what time is it? 7.30 Central Time, I think, Matt. Is that right? And are you guys playing a game or are you just talking? I think, sorry, I should know all that, but I'm kind of scatterbrained thinking about this thing here. But um, let us know. But go check it out. It's going to be a live stream. Um, I probably won't be on. I may or may not be on it. We got our family movie night tonight. But I do want to, people to go there and check it out. There it's fun group and Jay Wiley is just really cool and it's a fun set there's lots of sandbox rule sets out there um or you know where you can you know make your kind of own stats and do stuff like not Jay plays a lot of Star Wars with it because he loves Star Wars but he doesn't really like any of the Star Wars games out there so he uses Star Wars figures and makes his own stats for him and they're really easy to make stats like I've played in World War II of course because that's pretty much all I play and uh Rocky's War has done fantasy and Wild West and all kinds of stuff on it um, so, um, but it's just cool. It's a, it's a fun set of rules. Jay's a cool dude. He's from the Kansas city area. So we're all from the same state. So, and, uh, not Jay knows him kind of it's from his area where he went to high school and stuff. Secondary school is something you people might say, you people, you Brits, you 
Canadians. <clears throat> okay. A little touch up here, a little touch up there. Um, I guess I, apparently I, some of these figs, some of these items that I put on my Germans, they're supposed to be, or on my Americans, I think, are supposed to be waist um, belts, and I put them on their backs. Oopsie doodles. Oh, well, we can't all be perfect, can we? We can't all be gun barrel. So I took today off for a mental break today because my the last month and a half at work has been crazy. So this has been awesome to take this time off. So I just had the day off to do laundry stuff around the house, read, watch uh, Kevin Tony's board life play. Um, oh, there's a snap sack there. Um, it's been nice, nice to, and uh, nice to have that, uh, uh, ability to do that. So thank you. Thank you, job. Thank you, job, for letting me take time away from you. Uh, I need to get back to the comments here. Let me finish the brown that I'm doing here. Just kind of touching up on some little things. So I think what I'm going to do with this. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this set, this bolt action set after I paint it and play one more game with it, is I think I'm going to give it away on my channel or on Facebook or it's probably going to be a local person, a local person wanting to get into, uh, find a war, uh, bolt action. Um, and you know, compliments of myself and warlord games and all that. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I've been thinking, like, what am I going to do with this thing? Oh, um, all right, let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, a lot of people, German infantry is the worst to paint so much equipment. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I'm left handed. Of course, I am. Ah, Mad Dog, yep. ID Jester is playing Path of Exile. You're welcome, Matt, of course. Yeah, I'm left-handed. Uh-huh. Gun barrel. That dog. I mean, this thing skips when you use your phone. It's pretty crazy. Um, you can aspire to be better. It's trash can, not trash can't. Oh, how funny. Maybe the camera. Look at the writing behind him. Is it is it flipping the camera? It is my left hand. Can you read it? I mean, it says uh, Ultimate Frisbee Club. Should be able to read it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all wonky. Trying this new, new little tripod I got. Weird. I hope it's not all backward and weird. All right. Um, what's next? Um, I wanted to um, silver. I want to do silver. So I'm not gonna. So where's my silver, 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 oily steel. It sounds like I look out of Zoolander. And then I'm going to, then I'll do this. It's kind of not brass, but I'm going to do brass just because it looks cool. Do that for the bullets. What's the, what's the end of the shells look like? So, you know, I got the brass. I got these 30 mil, 30 cal brass things, you know, that I fired out of my World War II gun that I have. Bad boys are big too. I don't have the shells in front of me. So what color are the actual shells themselves? The projectile, the bullets. Where are those? I need to go find them. But I'm not going to leave, so let me know. Copper, bruh. Oh, that. I think that says Arty or Army. <laughs> it is upside down. That's hilarious. So like when I'm painting the, um, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to see this, I'm sure, but you know, the bullets here and for the Americans gun here, just do this brass color. I'm thinking, boy, true copper, I guess. I think that'll stand out. Mm 
mm -mm. I'm sure I'm doing heresy here, but you know, too bad, everybody. Let's brush with this one here. A little bit of water on there, just a little bit, just a little tad of water, just a little tad. Make it happy, make a happy brush. So let's see, for movie nights, we've done um, uh, Jojo Rabbit. We finished our Wes Anderson. Um, we like we all like Wes Anderson movies. So we've done this last one, The Dark Dealing Limited. It's good. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, there's, I think we've had three. So what would the third one have been? Uh, tonight is Mean Girls. I love that movie. Lindsay Lohan before it all went to crap in her life. And some other names that are pretty big. Anyway, it's just a fun movie. If you haven't seen Mean Girls, it is pretty fun considering you're like, what, Mean Girls? Come on. Tina Fey's in it. There's lots of fun fun people in it. Uh, and I've got um, Amadeus is going to be on there one week. I, you know, no one else is coming up with movies. I'm like, why? Well, right, I'm going to keep coming up with movies unless you guys come up with one. So, um, do, do, do. anyway, so, and I have a third one ready to go. Oh yeah, for the binoculars, I'm just doing the lenses with the silver too. I'm just kind of like heavy dry brushing the silver. I mean, the oily steel, like not really painting it. I'm just kind of rubbing it on there, so to speak. Kind of just popping out some of the. So they look like metal, a little shiny. <laughs> You're all able to talk to yourselves there. No guests. I invited people on, but I think they're probably all busy. They're all working. It's ID Jester, everybody. Go check out his channel. Good stuff there. Yeah, a lot of these people on here, go check out their channels. Um... Isn't LL pre shank, pre skanking? Uh, yes, she is. Hey, Richard, what's going on? Yeah, she is. And it's pretty funny watching, like, well, she's pretty good, man. It is a bummer what happened, you know, but it's the life, right? It's a rough life as a star and beautiful person in Hollywood. Yeah, she's, she's, you know, I, I, like I said, she's pretty good. It's enjoyable. I'm just like, man, what happened? But. Happens, man, you know. Oh, I already painted that one, but I didn't paint this side, so boom. So anyway, Wiley Games is fun. Uh, so go check it out. I don't know, Matt, what are you talking about? Are you still on? What do you guys, what's the kind of the goal tonight? Just chatting about games coming out or, or what? Matt's done a really good job with his channel. He's doing cool intros and stuff like that. And, and I'm on there half the time or something like that. Um, I'm inconsistent, as you can imagine. Gun Barrel knows, but. It's fun. It's fun being a part of the crew. There's a good group of good group of dudes. Um, I need to silver anything else out. I could silver that out, even though it's not black. I shouldn't do that yet. In fact, I have some black in here. I can do the heretical thing and paint with a brush. I just use silver on, but it's okay because it's gonna be black. Pitch Perfect are good movies with the wife. I like them. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those.
Oh, you're gonna start game. Game in their ID. See ID. So go check out ID. Just you're gonna play whatever, whatever it says they're gonna play. Uh, thanks ID for coming to my channel and poaching my watchers. You little stuff. You. I'll have my lawyer contact your lawyer, and we'll talk about talk it through. Um, ID's been playing a lot more uh, like video, uh, role playing video games. It seems like to me, I you know I don't really even understand what you're playing half the times, but I think it's like uh, MM MMOs or something like that or something similar. Anyway, uh, so as I was saying, I'm excited to get back to the 15s and focus on a project. So I finish the 15s, get the French ordered, and stick to the basing. I've been really waffling on the basing, as I want to do. I think I'll use more black before I go and let's get the tracks painted. A A A R P G, okay. Thanks, ID. You have a show tomorrow, ID? Action adventure game. Yeah, so ID, do you have a show tomorrow? with your team, with your crew, with your get fresh crew. So rough on doing some hunters, that was cool. I didn't need that much black gray, Jeez, chill out. I think I could probably use a bigger brush for that, for the tracks. It's weird painting these, tw these 28s. Oh man, black, it's hard to clean. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Not that one. That's a little. That's a little weird. Let's go with some smaller brush I just did. I'm gonna go with that one. I'm with big boy here. Uh. Oh wow. Show tomorrow, and yeah, big announcement coming for next week. Oh, cool. The last 100 yards tutorial gameplay video with the designer, Mike Gunnison. That's cool. He came on with myself and um, Mark Buto, Budo, to, um, and Mark, oops, he was nice enough and sent me that game, which I thought was pretty cool. And we played with him on the line. Things like this, I think, boy, this would have been easier to paint with before it was assembled. Oh, you can't even see it. That's fantastic. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. A little aggressive with the black there. Calm down. Yeah, I don't know if this is a uh, you know a model set someone would want to win. If I gave it away, like uh, I'll just paint my own. Thanks. But I would think someone would. Like some new like to win a fully painted army done by an amateur. I'd be okay with. That. I mean, I feel like it's okay. Hey, trust me, I've bought armies that I've like. Whoa! I used to think no, anybody can paint better than me. I'm like, nope, guess not. Not anybody can. I guess I actually am better than some people, which is weird. Oh, I should probably get the bottoms here. Blech. Well, that's a cool ID. Last 100 yards was fun. I think that's another game. I'm going to actually give that one away, I think, since Mark gave it to me. And I, I'm noticing I'm not playing it. So I'm like, I might forward it off to someone else that want, would like it. I should probably just ask Mark. Feels weird doing it because I know Mark follows me and stuff. So, and he did send me that, but 
I just don't think I'm going to play it. So let's get it to somebody that will. It's pretty cool though. It's got some unique things. That's for sure. You know, we, you know, tactical games are very kind of use ASL as a model. Not all of them like combat commander and stuff like that. I mean, there are different games out there. Band of brothers seems different, <clears throat> but lots of similar things, but last hundred yards seem to take some very different approach with its time and, you know, I think he, he did a really cool job and he seems to really be passionate about the subject. So he's trying some new things to, you know, model it the way he thinks it should be modeled. And I think that's cool. So I just am so kind of stuck in the games that I play that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to play it much. So, but that's kind of how I am with a lot of things too, too lazy to learn some new things sometimes. I don't like saying that. I've always said I'm always open to, I mean, you know, whatever. I think I'm more open to miniature rules games. I think they're easier. <laughs> And if they're not, I don't waste my time. Like, oh, group. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Like I said, I'm going to wait for some reviews to come out for, for some people I know and trust, and then I'll jump on and try it out. I mean, granted, it's not a lot of money, but it's, you know, i got a limited budget. So, no, I'm not paying the bottom. All right, so that's done. Um... It is really amazing when you dry brush the things you notice. Um, how it makes things pop out. Mind zombie rules? Okay. He puts that out. Um, oh, wow, that's interesting. That's why I look forward to seeing that. 100 yards for minis. Cool. Crossing Obstacles Gaming. Oh, okay. I was like, who are you? Oh, I know. I know that logo. I, for some reason, didn't... Your name didn't stick in my mind. Um, hey, thanks for coming on, Crossing. Oh, what put it into what? Mike is a nice guy. I talked to him a bit when I was doing some playtesting for it. Oh, you had medical. Okay, I got you. Oh, ID. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. ID's just better. Because I sold him a game that went on sale the next week. <laughs> like I had any idea. I did feel kind of bad. Kind of. That uh, largesse of money I got from his bank account made kind of soothe, ease the pain, though. Like, man, I feel bad for ID, but not that bad. No, I really did kind of like, oh, boy. Like I knew a MMP. So if you don't know the story... ID bought a game for me. It's a pretty expensive game too. He, I, I, it was a good price. I included shipping. You know, I was like, here, I'll sell it to this and include shipping and blah, 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 and all that. It seemed like a good deal to me. And then literally the next week, the company that publishes it like had this crazy, like almost half price sale. So while I sold it for a decent price, I didn't sell that good a price. It was like, oh boy. <laughs> it just was... I mean, it was a crazy sale. They were selling like day of days for 30. I think the game he bought was like $75. I mean, literally this half. I was like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Awkward. Oh, bullets. Bullet time. Uh, for me, it is 3.51 p.m. Yes. Oh, you're talking about the time for ID show. Okay, yep. So, yeah, that's 4 o'clock Eastern. Uh, I look forward to seeing your minis. ODG, ODGW. Oh, yeah, mine. So, mine tans or mine zombies. Sort of playing the world inside jokes. Some people that do mine. Oh, mine tans. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mad dog I am. Yeah, yeah, and Operation Mercury was $40. $40. So it's almost like, yeah, okay, duh, I'm going to give that a shot. Hey, nothing more fun than watching a guy shake bottles. Oh, Blast Pop's cool. That's cool that you're having him. I've liked his videos. He's got a cool voice. Blast Pop here. Bla Blast Pop here. 
I don't know. There's something about his voice. I'm always like, this makes you want to play a game he's playing. That's cool. Yeah, he's he's got some cred, doesn't he, in the industry? Man, your, your game is stepping up, ID. Oh, I'm getting hot in this sweatshirt I'm wearing. Oh, it's shaking. Yeah, I don't need that much copper. Like copper, it's like, uh, I don't think, I think I could probably use a copper bottle like this big. Um, so I think that goes down here. So when you paint with um, metallics, you're not supposed to use the brush again for stuff, but too bad. Stir it up. The, the metallics, I'm not as worried about wetting down. Oh boy. This guy's holding a shell. I'll just make the whole thing. Schnell, schnell, fire. I have this guy holding an MG34 with one hand. He's lift, he's in the progress of lifting, you know, fixing it. Oh my, I got way too much. Uh, So do you guys think I should paint the tips of the, the you know the bullets themselves as copper as well? Or just the casings, shell casings. That one just did the shell casings. I'll do this one. Let me know. Oh man, this looks so much better. I really have enjoyed the 28 experience more than I thought I would. Problem is, there's so many little details, you almost feel obliged to work them out. I'm like, yeah, no, 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 don't do it. But, you know, the things I, I'm obliged to paint on this, people paint on 15. So, so you got that going for you. Tips and silver just for the contrast. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do the same, Mad Dog. So mine Panzer is actually the very first mini rule set I ever bought because it's exactly what I wanted to play in mini. Squad level, you know, like ASL, Combat Commander, all those. Man, I wish you guys could see that. I know you're not going to be able to. But here, see that blur? Isn't that great? That's it. That's all the machine. That's all the bullets I got. Can I have some shell casings to paint? I also have some. Speaking of uh, giving away and tossing, I bought um, a set of uh, minis off a guy, painted minis. They turned out to be really bad, primed, bad, put together super poorly. Again, that's when I was like, whoa, I guess I'm not such a bad modeler and painter. You know, you got to. Choose who you compare yourself to, right? Um, and there's some tanks. Like, I know these Flames of War tanks that were in some of the box sets were terrible and didn't build well. And he really did a bad job of them, like super gaps. You mean you came in? I'm not filling them. I've put some camo on some of them and like some grass. I've put some clump foliage on it and stuff. And he's like netting. So I've done that. I need to paint, you know, do some painting and stuff. But just really jank assembled. There's just gaps and stuff. It's like, I'm tempted. And I got to tell you, I thought buying paint stuff like this would be good, but then I got to kind of start like, okay, now where do I paint? Because something, like he missed so many areas, like his spray painting. And then you got like, well, this one just popped off and, and you can't put it on. Like you will have humongous gaps no matter what you do. I am tempted just to toss these bad boys. In a way, I hate to, but in a way, I'm like, nope, I don't hate to at all. Barrels busted off. It'll probably be one of the last times I ever buy a pre-painted army, honestly. <laughs> and Am I done with these guys? So I put silver on the half track where they stepped. I know I could rust them out. So someone told me to dry brush this. I might try that on the back. Let me try it on the back. Let me get out my... 
I'm going to try something while I've kind of someone suggested it. So I'll give it a shot here. Where is my color? Shines are yellow. Dry brushing for me has never been that successful. I did. So Storm of Steel Wargaming, another guy's videos who, there's just something about the way they make their videos that just makes you want to play the game they're playing, hang out with them, et cetera, et cetera. He just showed himself painting Hetzers. It's such a great little tutorial, i got to tell you. All right, so I'm not putting it in the wet palette because I want to do it dry. I want to do, I want to do it dry. All right, so I'm going to get a nice wide brush here. So dry brushing for me has always been tough. Like I never have done it quite right. Like I have a I struggle to get the I guess in a way a wet palette would be good, then I wouldn't. Like as soon as I hit the model, I'm gonna like just goop on the paint. It seems very so I'm gonna do the back here. Let's see what happens. See, now I feel like I have no paint on there. So someone suggested, I don't remember who, oh, there it is. There, it's working. Kind of dry brushing to kind of blend in the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like half the hood here. We're gonna see what happens. See if I actually see a difference or not. That'll tone down the silver a little bit too. You're not gonna be able to see it on the camera. I'm kind of looking, looking for myself here. I'm just gonna need a little bit more paint. That went quick. Hmm. For dry brushing, yeah. That's true. I just have so many of them. I don't who needs that many rec tanks. Though, you know what? That might be a good idea. Build out some bases and build some rec tanks. Because it would just kind of fun to litter the battlefield with them. So maybe so. All right, thank you. McMurray talked me out of uh, doing some stuff one time too. Oh, I was gonna talk about my basing. So I kind of gone back and forth on basing because you know I did buy some of this um these Flames of War sets. And I thought, you know, I can just I can just play with both of them. Well, I'm like, no, stick to your, I, I like the theme I came up with, with two guys to a base. And there we go, that's a nice amount there. And I appreciate you guys giving me advice like this. Like who, I, Gosh, it might have been Gun Barrel actually who told me to do this. To dry brush the, to kind of blend it in. So this was, this this camo was done with a, the wash. I like the way it turned out. So this will tone down that silver a little bit. Be careful here because I got this other stuff on here. This helmet, I don't want to. Well, it's good to hit the helmet so I can see. Yep, yeah, there's actually paint on there. Kind of blends in my. Okay, that was good. Nice, nice suggestion, everybody. Someone also suggested maybe a little bit of the brown. On the tires. Oh, too much, too much, too much.
Anyway, we can go in here. Almost 50 minutes. Okay. Almost time to call it a good cat whiskers. Gonna migrate to the other computer and meet ID and wear a wire. Okay, cool. Everlasting encryption. Cat whiskers. See you, man. See ya. Thanks for just coming on. Appreciate it. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm done with these Germans. Some of their faces are a little dark, but I'm good with that. Now, guess what? Basing. What can I do? Get done in basing in th ten minutes. So I've been keeping track of my time painting. So I was gonna. I did the 20 minute a day challenge in January. I didn't really do 20 minutes a day, but I did try to do the equivalent of 20 minutes a day because it really is kind of hard to come. Actually, for me to, it's almost harder for me to come down to do 20 minutes than it is for me to do an hour just because it's like I'm down here. I might as well keep going. So then I just add the time up and say that's three days more. I cheat a lot. Cheater only and things like that. Otherwise, I'm honest and McGee. Try to be. Uh, <laughs> You know, people dropping off. What's happening here? Where are people going? Yeah, now you get to watch my super basic basic basing methods. Put the lid on the paint. <clears throat> like finishing these Germans is a big deal for me. And finish with the basing and everything. Um, I don't want to do this. Uh, this. Let me get some different paint. This paint's like. Ah, jeez. Movie night, we'll do popcorn. I make popcorn in the little spinny pop thing, which is cool. Just fresh, fresh popcorn is awesome. All right, come on there. Come on, Elmers. What's the white glue called? And you probably have one brand like Elmers over there or some brand that's kind of the standard white glue. Here it's Elmers. And then they, of course, have all these different kinds and you kind of wonder like, really? Is there any difference really? too much water so yeah I think I want to give this these models away to a newbie so I want to use a local crew who someone knows like hey so and so is a newbie I don't want some guy from Schmo just to get it because they want an army but that they are trying to get into bolt action Thanks for joining me. Whoever's just joined in, appreciate the drop by. Let me know who's here. Maybe I can leave a comment there. Makes me feel, you know, wanted and needed. Just kidding, sort of. Wow, this is like. After this, I'm going to go jump on and play some France 40 live. GMT game here. Let's just see if um, can get what's uh, get, what's his name. Um, I need to separate my gluing brushes and my painting brushes. I think this is too runny. Let's see what I got going here.
and plop. One thing is, it's easier to keep the glue off the boots because they're bigger. Got 15s, I'm like covering the entire boot with glue. Some of you are probably going, holy cow, that's how you base? Yeah, that's how I base in the wardrobe house. Boop. Oh, man. <laughs> that, um... Oh, this one will not be colored or glued because he is going to be standing in a half track. Um, yeah, so this guy, I just put a little tiny washer on him, and then he'll be the one I can put in. Oh, into the half track. Just go. Bloop. Take him out. What's up? Six people watching on a Friday afternoon. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So I was hoping to get this done in 10 minutes, but we'll see. It'd be awesome if I could get all of these, the grass on all these. And then I will go back and put some brush on them. Some like uh, gamer's grass, which I need to get more of. I guess I should use um, stack static grass or whatever. I don't have that applicator, so. Leave it in there while I, oh, this is going to be a tough one. But I'm going to do it. I'm up for the challenge. So, yep, so let's see. What else do I want to talk about? Um, so I, I want to get an ATS game going with Devin. Uh, next month, March, I'll we'll probably do a couple live games of Combat Commander with Matt. Rocky's War Room. Um, I have the Blitzkrieg Legend going to be here on Tuesday. That's OCS. I'm a little nervous about that. I used to own it, but I kind of thought, I'm not going to play OCS. And then I thought, well, maybe I, I want to play. It seems like a cool game. They're cutting ready to come out. It's, uh, the pre-order period for the cheaper price of one hundred and forty dollars of third winter is going to be up soon. And I was really tempted, especially after listening to the Ardwolf interview the designers. But I'm like, you know what? I don't like East East Front enough to do that. <laughs> so I thought, well, I like West Front. Maybe I do West Front and OCS. There's not that many OCS West Front. Bliss Creek Legend. I'm not going to do. Also, I'm not going to do. Um, Battle of the Bulge, specifically. But beyond the rind, I haven't heard... I just heard today some kind of like they might have a lot of errata for it and stuff. So if anybody knows, I'm trying to get the feel before I spend the money on it. So that I might get on with um, Let's Creek Legend. I might get on with Jeff from uh, Hex to Hex. We can talk through it like you, we've done with France 40. Uh-oh, dropping off here. Time for dinner for everybody, or bed. Um, one thing I like about Storm the Steel's um, video we did of the Hetzers, he used that static grass, and it was just really thick on the base. Like it really, um, like overflowing the base, which I thought was kind of a cool look. These models are going to definitely need a I've coated this watered down paint on top to keep the flock on there. I should do that before I.
It wasn't quiet all the time. I mean, that sometimes happens when I'm painting. I go quiet because I'm like sitting there going, okay, what am I doing? Make sure I do the right thing. Am I doing the right thing? Got the right color, got the right texture, blah, 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 blah. So I was talking about basing earlier. I'm kind of all over the place here. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with that two by two basing. I know flames where you can use for anything, but I just like the. Oh, I'm at an hour. <clears throat> and I have one, two, three to do. I might as well go ahead and do the Americans too, the two I have here. It's also, so, anyway, so I'm going to stick with the two by two basing. I could play Flames of War with that if I want to, some modified version of it. Uh, oh, I talked about Mind Pants, but let's talk about that in just a minute. Um, so, uh, so it's too cold to spray paint. So to spray base, because I'd love to do that with the Americans, I might have to end up, it's going to be cold like this for a while. Shoot, I just touched that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Better make sure I'm not getting that everywhere. Crap. This copper over here. Someone remind me what I was talking about. Basing two by two, use it for anything. Mine Panzer, uh, I liked it. And then I found Blitzkrieg Commander and started using that exclusively, sort of exclusively, except for I use a lot of other sets. Um, one thing that I would like, I'm kind of looking for at the squad level at the platoon level i don't mind having all the hits you know each stand can take five to six hits four four to six hits i'm fine with that on platoon level because you're you know simulating it's a platoon of guys or tanks or whatever but at um when it's a squad i think i'd just rather have statuses so that's one thing i really like about um Flames of War is you, you don't have that many statuses. You're pinned, pinned or dead or alive. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, there's not, um, like even, so I thought he'd been shot one, but even that you got, you know, you got several hits before you take them out. So you got to track it. And at squad level, I think I'd rather just, Blitzkrieg Commander plays great at that scale, but I'm like, how do I make it? So I don't have to keep track of all those hits. And so there you're suppressed. can be suppressed that would change the game significantly if you i was able to take out a, a squad in two shots i mean i guess i could say you're suppressed or suppressed or dead and if you're so basically you would suppress like the only damages that can happen are suppressed why that glue is not you could be suppressed of course you can rally from that I better not have gotten just copper on some of these guys that would, that would just really tee me off talking all the time is basically talking all the time is basically I haven't tried streaming my painting sessions yet I have no idea what to talk about really <laughs> yeah are you telling me that my topic is <laughs> it is hard actually crossing that's why it's nice to have people on. i invited a couple of people on to come on they're busy and stuff can't do it i mean this is like I, most of my time i do this last minute so there's no planning to be done but it is easier to have someone on here with me and it's a little tough with the uh, chatting right because it's like you know what i should actually i'm going to put some grass on here but there's a lot of space here some of this would be brown so I will just put grass in certain parts and then we'll kind of uh, dry brush some of the, the stuff brown. It's 
it's hard to do things random. Um, yeah, it is hard to come up with stuff to talk about and also be somewhat interesting. Um, it's also hard to remember what I was talking about. Mind Panzer. So I need to check out what Mind Panzer. The problem with Mind Panzer is a lot of charts. It's kind of old school design. Um, let's put some grass right by this guy's arm. Why not? Um, all right, buddy, I need you to get out because these guys are coming in and they're huge. Oh, they're actually going to fit in there? Nice. Um, but I can't remember if they had a lot of hits. You did have to track units on there with paper, which, again, is something I just really don't want to deal with. It was a cool mechanism, but it was something different to do. So, okay, let's uh, press this here. Um, let's see here. In battle group, you also have basically a live pin dead. Well, that's true. Um, you do have individual figures, though. So, what I'm kind of thinking about um, crossing is, I, I do like battle group. I like battle group for platoon level, and I know people played it bigger than that. By platoon level, I mean a platoon versus a platoon, kind of like bolt action or something. Um, uh, so, but you're right. But I wonder, actually, now that you're saying that, but you have to keep track. You kind of are keeping track of hits because you're removing individual figures. Or you, did you say that here? Down to 15 millimeter included. I like individual models and remove casualties and replace with a small blood token and leave it on the place the fellow died. After the battle, you can see the track. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. I, I don't know if it's your games. I've seen that before, but I have seen that before. And that is kind of, uh, well, cool is not the right word, probably. But that is an interesting thing. He said, I think that turned out pretty cool. Now, I do. Normally, I would have done this brown first, but I'll do the brown afterwards because I thought of it later. Um, I'll let the grass dry. Cool. Hey, check it out. I'm, I would say I am generally done with the Germans. Except for I'm going to, uh, another thing that I don't do often is matte, at a minimum, matte varnish to kind of protect them. These, I probably will do that because they're just bigger. So let me put 60 minutes down on my little notebook. Um, so because I multi-base, so my, my squads would be represented by a stand with two figures on them. And both screen commander, I keep a little dice next to him, which is fine. It works or a little... Uh, Historique counter. Um, which is fine. And I like the historique counter better, actually. But then it gets to be a lot on the table. Especially when I was playing with 6 mil. Um, so at that level, I don't want to and I don't want to have, like I ain't been shot them, where you pretty much have all the guys. I don't want to do one-to-one -one for squad level. And by squad level, I mean you have a company on the table, which is kind of I ain't been shot, Mom. So basically what I wanted to have is three stands equal a platoon, right? And a stand is either pinned. You know, I don't mind pinned, suppressed, and dead. You know, three states. And pinning maybe reduces their firepower or something, so that kind of shows something, and you can recover from those states. I mean, even uh, games like Lock and Load and Advanced Squad Leader, you flip the counter, and you go to a half, or not flip the counter, but you go to a half squad, so you're kind of doing the same thing. You're kind of casualty reducing. You know, that's interesting. Since I also do individual bases, I could reduce the squad to an individual stand. But then I might get mixed up with my leaders. I have to really mark my leaders differently. And honestly, I don't mind even putting just a little marker on the base. So I could have pin suppressed, you know, half squad dead. Yeah. Am I ready for O group? I don't think so. That's platoon level, isn't it? No, I, yeah, they're playing battalion. So those are platoons. So that's just like Blitzkrieg commander and man decision. I'll tell you what I'm struggling with O group is because 
as I've watched their videos, I've had a hard time staying engaged in their videos. They're good. I like them. I really appreciate that they do them. So many companies don't do that kind of thing. This blue, I think I'm going to wipe it out. Um, so they don't do it. So I appreciate that Rich has been doing that and he's running a special now. So go check it out if you want them. You can get the tokens and the rule book and the PDF um, for whatever price they're asking. Pretty decent price. Um, but I, I've had a hard time staying interested. And so to me, that I think that God think that's a judge of what I'm thinking of the game. Now, that's why I want to wait for someone else to do it. Because maybe I'm just not kind of jiving with the way they're explaining it. And that's cool. Because that happens, right? Maybe, I mean, rich, I know. But, and and I got to tell you, the, and I know the rolling of the dice, people love that. But that rolling of the dice, I'm having a hard time with the rolling of the command dice in that one. I'm like, it seems like a lot of work. I'm like, what does that stand for? And then this does that. I'm like, well, how? Anyway, so I'm just having a hard time with it. I'm not saying it's bad. I love Lardy's. I support everything they do. I just don't play their games that often. I just, they don't resonate with me, but I love their aesthetic. I love, I love, come on, that's overstating it. Probably. I really dig their aesthetic. I rich. I love, I love their, I do like their historical depth and stuff. And I love their scenario books and they've some, the one of the best companies to support with scenario books and stuff, I think, especially at the price and campaigns and blah, blah, blah. So, Go buy it. Go check it out. Check it out for yourself because it could be really great. Um, you know, I'm as well. So, blah, blah, blah. All that said, um, I think what I'll do, I was going to put the stat, my little static grass clump bushes here. But I think what I'll do is when I paint over them with the glue and water to kind of seal in the grass, at that same time, then I'll put an extra dollop of glue to glue in the grass on them. So I'm going to wait to do that until this is dry. So that'll be tomorrow or whatever. And let me put an hour and 10 minutes on the book here. Yeah, my, my days have been quite spread out. Uh, wow, when did I start? So it's been an hour and 15 minutes. So I'll just put uh, 75 minutes. So in February, I've done 50, 145, 75, zero. Ten days worth. So I'm on day 12 and I've done 10 days worth. So close. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm thinking. So that's what I was trying to like. Maybe I can just adapt Flames of War and just use the two bases for Flames of War, right? And have those two bases like that. Um, you know, that's well, I might try it too. You know, I, I like to try rules out anyway because it's World War II and I want to try it out and I do want to support them. Not like they need my help to pimp, pimp in their game out though, so to speak, because they do a good job and they have a really good following of fans, which is pretty cool. Um, so well, I'll try it out. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to think of my, my, my squad level games. Um, So you know, like bolt or with Blitzkrieg Commander, I'm thinking because you you roll to hit, you save. I mean, one hit though, it, that reducing it, that'd be tough. And I guess you could say one hit because suppression comes off at the end of your turn. So that's a state that's not on there very long. Is that right? Comes at the end of your turn. So if you're hit, okay, let's see. So it's my turn. I'm moving. Wait, that's not right. Yeah, when do they come off? Suppression comes off at the end of your turn. So if you fire on me in your turn, I'm suppressed for my whole turn. Okay, so you'd be suppressed. And if I got suppressed, so you're not going to get suppressed twice unless you got fired on twice, two different times. So that wouldn't work really, because that's going to be pretty rare. You don't you don't always get suppressed unless you said if you don't save, then you suppress, then you test for suppression. I don't know. That would change the game a lot. I got to think. Boy, I'm just really sitting here rambling. Hey, everybody! Thanks a lot. I'm going to jump on here. Let's see. Well, let me see what you got to say here um, before I jump off. I have never got to grips with the two fat lardies unit activation systems. 
cards, tokens, dice. Much rather just roll a bunch of orders and spread them. I think so too, Crossing. And they take a long time. They seem to take me a long time. Yep, thanks, Hethwell. Thanks, everybody, for jumping on. Hethwell, Crossing Obstacles, uh, Rocky's War Room, ID Jester, uh, Mad Dog. Uh, do, 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 do. Or I guess I can actually show you my face. There's my ironing board back there. Oh, uh, I almost said ODJW came on ID. I'd love for them to come on ID Jester. Just going through the people who, of course, there's Gun Barrel. Um, close. My phone's about to die. Anyway, all those guys, go check them out. If they got channels, sub them, love them, doing all that stuff. Guys, be awesome out there. I'm going to say guys, because pretty much that's all who watches my channel are 40 to 50, 60 year old men. Um, go check them out. And, uh, you know, the whole thing respect each other, love each other, and roll dice and destroy each other on the tables. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to y'all later and be awesome. I'm going to be live here in about 10 to 15 minutes playing France 40. Bye.